Welcome. In this lesson, we'll be starting to work on the legs, roughing them in. Now, in the last lesson, we worked on the back. Um, since then, I've just kind of refined it a little bit. And the main thing I included that I didn't really mention in the last lesson was uh, this kind of line indentation in the back. So when you look at it from a three-quarter angle, you should see this prominent line. And uh, it's not really... Uh, it's not really a thing that's there rather than a thing that's not there. It's the, it's the spine that's, that's the indentation with the muscles around it. So make sure you have that um, in your back. Okay, uh, so we're just going to start roughing in the, uh, the muscles of the legs. And the legs are looking somewhat close here. Let's just go to a lower subdivision level like 4 maybe even lower than that three so we can get some of these weird bumps out, out of here so I'm going to use clay build up and kind of try to smooth these out a little bit I'm going to start designating the muscle areas you know eventually these are going to flow together but we want to just kind of uh, mark them down There's a muscle that wraps around the inside of the leg right here called the sartorius. And here's the quadriceps. Right here should be kind of a little indentation. This is the teres major. Let me actually go up one. Three muscles that attach um, the bone uh, to the iliac crest right here. Teres major, the gluteus medius, and the gluteus maximus, which we already did. And then here, this thing, uh, trochanter, it's the protruding outer portion of the of the femur is connected with the iliotibial band which is a tendon that just runs down like this and connects it to the tibia so from the ilium iliac crest to the tibia and that's not usually seen very very much through the skin it's more seen as an indentation than than a protrusion So look at this thing from different angles as you're roughing it in. And the idea eventually of this is it should all kind of flow together. There will be a few little um, areas where we see like the definition of these. But for the most part, it's all kind of a, a lump, single lump of meat. bring up our floor and we could see that we're pretty pretty spot on here now I actually made these a little bit thinner for for kind of cartoon reasons but um, you actually want this to be a little bit fatter right here and that's the sartorius coming around and creating an extra mass right there of like a tendon okay Here's the hamstring, or uh, sorry, the, uh, the calves. And there's two kind of lobes, and they taper together into a tendon, which becomes the Achilles heel, Achilles tendon. And from the front, the front of the tibia is going to be the biggest uh, landmark. On this side, it's going to be pretty much uh, connected in with the muscle like that. The muscle is going to be filling it up. But on this side, 
there's going to be a little bit of a of a gap. So we're going to see the a bit of the ridge. There we go. The inside, the uh, these little bones right here ankle bones the inside one is lower than the outside one and we want them to kind of taper in and then connect up to the leg there's all these tendons that come down uh, here that kind of control your toes and your and your foot but we're gonna just have them all blend together Kind of define the heel a little bit here. And you don't want to you don't want too much of a, a definition on a male leg. You see a lot more of this definition of the calf. Uh, on a female leg, I like to have a little bit less of that because it it kind of makes it look more like a male leg. You'll see you'll see hints of it sometimes. And I will put a hint of it in, but We'll start with just creating like a smooth transition. Okay, let's do the knee. Just mark the the patella, which is the uh, kneecap, and there's a tendon that comes down to the tibia, the, the two top heads of the tibia around here, the kind of bottom parts of the femur, and the muscle that kind of accumulates up here because there's a, a little band right here that, um, that, that kind of pushes all the muscle back. I mean, it, it just kind of ties it back like a piece of tape. So we're marking all this stuff down, but in the end, we're just going to have kind of a, a graceful little, little bump to show the knee. Okay, so this... This should be kind of smooth, smoothed out. There's some fat under here that kind of helps blend it all together. And then if she bends her knees, which uh, I'm, you know, for the for the final pose, I think she will be maybe squatting down or something like that. Then the shape of this is going to change a lot. These these uh, you know four bone protrusions will will pop out, and then this patella will actually recede into the the gap that's created as you as you bend this knee. So just keep that in mind. That's one of the the reasons that. Um, you know, at this stage, you can put in detail, and and you know, I like to, but at the same time, once you start posing the character, things are going to change a little bit. So you just want to be mindful of that. So let's pause the lesson and continue on the next one.